Greetings everyone, this is First and 2073 with the next episode of Geopolitical Simulator 4 Power and Revolution. And we are playing as Greece, um, trying to return to a golden age of Greece. And this is definitely not a golden age, to be honest with you. Uh, there's been a lot of rioting lately and a lot of chaos. Um, and uh, to make matters worse, uh, since the integration of Israel, uh, our unemployment has been skyrocketing. And look at this crazy number here. I don't know what this is, where this came from. This is insane. Inflation out of nowhere has skyrocketed from 6% to 54. How does that happen? I do not know. Look at this crazy inflation just from September to October. Inc incredible. And I am not sure why this happened. The exchange rate versus the dollar has slowly been going down. That's over the course of a year, though. I do not know what caused this drastic inflation in September. This is at the end of the third quarter, but there is an insane hike in inflation. So. I'm going to try to end this war with uh, Jordan as soon as possible, ASAP. And I think I'm probably going to end up making Jordan a dependency, like Syria, because I don't want to have to deal with any more. Uh, one of the other big problems that we have, and I don't know if this is why or not, but immigration is, is out of control, I think. And we've gone from 58,000 uh, to 775,000. It's starting to go down. In that's good. That's a good sign. Cuz the unemployment is so high probably. Illegal immigrants are, but that's not nearly as much of a problem. Hmm, I was thinking about going ahead and establishing a moderated and balanced integration policy, which I think I'm going to actually go ahead and do. So just to check that, oh, I went ahead and did it anyways. I looked at it before. Uh, it'll pass. I'm not even going to do that. I did just look at it. And the people are neutral on it. But the right-wing parties seem to be very in favor of it. Um, hopefully, this is going to cause uh, problems with the anti-racist group. Hopefully, this will settle some of these white right-wing parties that have been causing a lot of the riots that are going on. So, let's see if this corrects the situation. In the meantime, airstrikes. Syrian forces have struck and I did take a huge popularity dip. The strike isn't hurting us too much. 57 riots, foreign policy, anti-integration, controlled immigration. Alright, that's not too bad of a reaction. That's not a very a devastating reaction like we've seen. Um, where are we here? Look at these special forces. People Square. Can I direct all of these units? No, can't even get a... Are those our special? Yeah, they are. I can't even control them. They are out of my control. Those are moving there. Alright, we want most of these guys moving towards the bunker. I don't have anywhere near enough infantry in the city at the moment. Let's see if we can't use these tanks to fire on some people here. Yeah, it did just change that. You saw that. Oh, he disappeared. Okay. The reaction, I guess? Time? <laughs> On the uh, orders that you give is so slow. I don't know much about computer programming, but... That is just horrible. You know, I, I gave them orders to do something else. And 
and they just they're not doing it this is a commando I can't control the commando for some reason I'm gonna get out of this we'll let that play out And uh, just to give you guys a, I guess, a casualty count here. They are down to 2,000 troops. Of course, they have other forces. Check the details here. There we go. Number of killed. We've lost more than they have. There are a lot of them out of combat. Let's see. They have 136 tanks, 97 other tanks. Took another hit, popularity wise. Refuse that. Bosnia Herzegovina membership application. We are refusing that because that's going to be a future target. A lot of demonstrators. Refuse. Okay. Iranian troop incursion, we're gonna hold on to that. Are they still in our territory? Yes, they are. That's one of the reasons why this war sparked, because uh, the Jordanian forces were still in Israel. The movement seems to be blowing itself out. Okay, that's a good sign. We'll let that go. I still haven't arrested this guy for some reason. Kosovo, Minister of Justice. We've taken over a museum, very good. Balance of power is moving in our favor, it looks like. We need all these forces. If I can do anything, okay, that didn't work. To the bunker. I want everybody, or as many as possible, to the bunker. Now let's just take over police headquarters here. Take that out. All right, we're taking the police headquarters. How are we looking in here? Pause that for a second. Try to take down as many of these guys as possible. Yes, I love this game. What the heck? All right, these are commandos. I can't even do anything about it. Why I can't command the commandos is beyond me. Man, they're getting killed because of it. Great. Yeah, just get out of here. Okay. Just gonna have to wait for this to unfold, really. Not much we can do in that conflict. 
and these stinking Iranian forces are still victory will be ours here care for refugees popular uprising we didn't lose too much popularity there okay not bad care for refugees is coming in our favor whoa nice government palace siege has begun very good let's try and keep up with these announcements meeting requests by who is this Bosnia Herzegovina all right let's see what you got here the sit-in begins to run out of steam good the majority of our enemies we got it. this okay can't get these Iranian forces out of Israel that's my big problem Kosovo no need for clandestine activities alright end of a sit-in has occurred aha we've taken the building this is just a chaotic mess that I am not going to intervene in report on war with Jordan no need to sound retreat anywhere the enemy army is defeated the enemy army is defeated we're definitely not sounding retreat is we have just taken the country's capital excellent look at these Syrian airstrikes where are they going Wow, massive Syrian airstrikes. Oh my god. Bolivia. Sure, I'll meet with you. I probably should check on that. Demonstrations are taking place at this very moment in the country's main cities. All of them have come together in opposition of the government, chanting their usual slogans and accompanied by a few emblematic celebrities. Another uprising, another protest. We're waiting on that. Who is this? Constantine. Court condemned. Yes! Okay, that's the guy. Oh, heavy fine. Here's the verdict, the heavy feeling, the effects, the popularity of his popularity have been immediate. Uh, stay calm for the moment, magistrate. Leader is out. Alright, that eliminated one enemy. One of our political enemies. Okay. Bargain concluded with the Minister of Information. That's a good person to have. That's a good informant to have. And it is time for Jordan to basically surrender soon. Wish these Iranian forces were out. Storming, our storming of the capital resulted in the enemy's surrender. The latest coup de grace is ours. The whole Allied camp, the victor. It makes. Oh, you know what the problem is going to be? As a dependency, we have all these countries at war with Jordan. Will we? Uh, will they end up? Uh, Signing a peace treaty. This country's armed forces are counterattacking violently. We must be more offensive than them to keep the pace. Sure, go ahead. Where are they counterattacking? I don't even see any of them. So I forgot who brought it up on the channel, but uh, one of the issues with uh, making a 
conquered country a dependency was that uh, the other countries that you're ally allied with end up staying at war with them. These military forces have just violated our territory. It's a I'm going to have to do something to up my popularity soon because this is just tanking. Alright, so we're just waiting for. Uh, let's see what's going on in these riots. Bring in reinforcements. That's always a good option. Let's see if they can settle things. Before the city I have. Has fallen. Oh, we lost the city. The city has fallen. Oh, we lost two cities. Alright, slight dip in popularity there, not too bad. Here's the result. Uh, Bosnia-Herzegovina has been rejected from NATO. Very good. That means they're still a target for us. And we have a negotiation here. Here we go. What the heck is this? Oh my god. Why did this happen? Oh my god. This is killing me. You gotta be kidding me. After all that, we just signed a peace treaty with them. I didn't even get a chance. Oh, this game is so frustrating sometimes. I did not even get a chance to negotiate. Did I just miss it? Did time, too much time go by? What the hell was that? You gotta be kidding me. We're not even gonna get a dependency out of this. That's such a waste. Oh, this game is so frustrating sometimes. Oh my god. Good morning. Not a good morning. Very bad morning. Uh, iron. We should probably buy to try to bring down the inflation, I think. Oh, wow. Yeah, I'll take that. That's a great deal. They're really trying to warm up to us, aren't they? Oh my god, I'm so frustrated. I can't take this game sometimes. Sometimes I simply just can't take this game. There are two new patches out there. I got the Iranians to deal with now. Alright. Yeah. We'll try to deal with the Iranians. Meantime, my popularity has been annihilated and destroyed. Oh man, we control these these territories still. These positions, I guess we'll end up giving them up. Oh man. All right. Well, I guess I will use this opportunity to uh, talk to subscribers out there. Uh, one thing I am thinking of is starting a new series. Uh, there are two, there's a new patch out, which I haven't downloaded yet. Actually, there's two. Uh, and I think once I do download, that kind of screws up the games that I'm already saved. So that would end this Greek series. And we really haven't come anywhere near our goals. So probably going to try to play this out for a little bit longer. But I am thinking about starting a new series. And uh, options that were on the table for a new series. Uh, and I guess I'll post these in the comments. 
uh, a new Islamic caliphate, starting with Saudi Arabia and spreading Islam. Uh, I guess we're reestablishing the Islamic, or old Islamic caliphates, which would end up taking me into North Africa, possibly Spain, um, maybe Turkey, maybe Iran, and even possibly parts of southeastern Europe. Uh, but spreading and but sticking to Islamic ideology too, which would be limiting people's freedoms, limiting rights of women, probably I guess, um, and uh, maintaining I guess a strong Sunni religion. I don't know what other religious we'd probably want to like outlaw abortion and homosexuality and all that stuff. That's a <laughs> a lot of people might not agree with that type of series, uh, but that was something that was suggested on the channel. Uh, so if you want, uh, if you like that one, we can do that. Uh, there was another series suggesting about Oman and uh, building up fighter jets and like selling them around the world and using them to try to uh, intervene and uh, try to influence other conflicts, which is interesting. Um, not as aggressive as the Saudi Arabian series, but a similar type of series. I guess I could try to go with a modernizing Islamic State series with that one with Oman. Those are two options. Another option has been China. Almost like a world conquest move with China. And then a fourth option was Brazil. And this is something that I stimulating like the Brazilian economy and becoming a South African South American uh, hegemon. Which would end up bringing all the South African countries into like one organization and probably conquering uh, Venezuela, uh, taking their oil and such and such. So those are the four options I have out there. Uh, I guess I'll go ahead and post down below in the comments an uh, option for you guys to vote on one of those four, or if you have another uh, idea uh, with specific goals and objectives. Uh, feel free to um, post that as well. So I'm looking to start a new series. Also, I will have tutorials coming up soon. And I'm also looking to uh, try new games, actually. Um, sometimes this game can be frustrating. Uh, we still have a pretty decent empire. I mean, I didn't achieve any of the actual uh, domestic goals that I was going for, but uh, with a lot of the... A lot of people have been pushing to... Uh, achieve international goals, and I think they pretty decent job. I don't know. Popularity is starting to collapse here. So, um, yeah, I don't know how long I'm going to last in the series, but uh, for other series, let me know what you guys think, and please vote down below and see which one of those four or fifth that you want uh, with other goals and other options. So I'm looking for new ideas. Um, also looking for new games. If anyone has any suggestions, I was thinking about Hearts of Iron 4 as a possible game uh, with new scenarios. I do have a Japanese faction uh, campaign going on right now, which I've restored. Uh, kind of put a halt on that. And then I'm also thinking about an aggressive ally campaign or uh, somebody had mentioned like a socialist turkey campaign. Uh, so those are uh, games, but I'm also looking for other games out there. I also play Europa Universalis, uh, Total War games, um, other Paradox games. Any type of geopolitical or historical strategy game out there that you guys like to see on the channel, please feel free to post. I uh, also, also have an interest in city building games as well. I started an uh, Urban Empire game, but that was a tough game to kind of get into. But I've been playing, dabbling with it a little bit, so I might get back into that. And there's a couple new games coming out um, as well. So there's an interesting like card game called Fate of the World, which is kind of like an environmentalist type game. Uh, that I might go ahead and start just do a series on that just to see what it's like you play as like a global organization you gotta try to manage um, the global warming and the environmental crisis around the world which seems interesting I gotta get into that game first so let me know what you guys think in the comments down below uh, please uh, feel free to post your frustrations with this Jordanian war um, and what's going on in this Greek series with the crazy inflation, if anyone has any idea of why, why the hell, why the heck, excuse me, this happened, uh, I'm assuming it has to do with immigration, maybe. Um, when is that logging passed? Let me just actually play that law. Ouch. 
Where is that law in progress? On the 26th. Let's play that out till the 26th. Play this out to the 26th and see if uh, what the impact of that law is. Speed it up a little bit. 24th. Meeting with Bolivia. Government wishes to express great approval of the presence of troops on their border. With Turkey? Where? I don't see that anywhere. Let's talk to this guy. Good morning. I didn't come empty-handed. We'll look to buy beef. It's not a lot, and I'm not interested. Get out of here. Reinforcements have arrived. World Cup encouragement. Our sportsmen are ready. Go ahead, let's galvanize them. Sports. I have fully funding sports, but we're not getting... Well, actually, I'm not fully funding sports anymore, am I? Where did I bump that up? Yeah, we're fully funding sports. Oh, not all the disciplines, though. Look at that. Well, let's see what happens when we fully fund... These are real cheap. Let's see what type of bump this gives us in the polls. Maybe that'll bring us back over 50. These are really cheap. I don't know what my budget is, either. I know that uh, the surplus kind of started to disappear a little bit in the last couple episodes. Hundred and twelve hundred and fifteen for all that. What the heck? What the heck is that? What is that? This game. Sometimes is just too tedious. Yeah, I definitely need to find a new game. Please, anybody out there, help me. Give me suggestions. <laughs> I'll keep playing this game for a while, and I'll do tutorials, for sure. Uh, but I need I need to diversify a little bit. I need something else. Oh, look at that big sports bump. Nice. Automobiles. 15.9. Very good. And uh, that law needs to be passed, right? We're waiting on that, and then I'm probably going to end the episode after that. We've got an empire, for sure. So disappointed in that whole Jordanian episode. And did the Iranians leave? No, they are still in our territory. Alright, controlled immigration. Very little impact of that popularity for that law. A week from the beginning of the competition. Rugby ambitions. The bill has been voted on, and the law has been... Alright, hopefully that'll control the immigration. The theory that says if e Go ahead, we'll support that political party as always. That's not the same leader who's the president. Okay, so that's somebody else. Our governmental cell informs who is this? Where? Serbia. We can attack Serbia and uh, Bosnia-Herzegovina any time. Probably want to do Serbia first. We have access to through Albania. And I need to start building. I have four bases, I think, I can build there, right? Belarus. There still is conflict there, huh? So someone had suggested with Belarus we could uh, take some actions as far as um, managing our embassies here. Diplomatic representative of another state requests to open an embassy. I say we close down this embassy. Right? That was an option. Closing down the embassy in Belarus. As a response to their aggression in Poland. And any type of popular reaction? I don't see 
Oh, that was bad. Oh, the demonstration hit. Demonstrations is what did the worst. The demonstrators intend to send. Okay. Demonstrations are taking place at this very moment in the. These center right and these, these groups are. Troops are positioned near our borders and represent a potential threat to our territorial integrity. Wow, a lot of chaos going on right now in this series. All right, that's enough for this episode. I think. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next.